Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 18 of 2023, we had 65 tournaments, with a total of 1,389 players and 5,439 games played. This week's base rings topped the charts with 14 wins and 39 top 3 places. They have a weighted place of 22.6, which is the highest in the blue group. Aldari and Orcs both get 6 wins, being ranked by the number of top 3 places. They both have a good weighted placing, with the Eldari getting 11.3 and the Orcs getting 13.7 the second and third best overall. Chaos Demons are the last faction in blue, with 5 wins and a weighted placing of 22.2. This week the Drukhari get the best weighted placing, with 9. All 25 factions manage at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 117. Chaos Demons come next with 48, followed by Tau with 42 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly the Space Marines are the most played faction with 20.23% of players taking them. They have seen a further slight decrease from last week. Chaos Demons are the second most popular faction on 7.42%, followed by the Tau, who are on 6.26%. We see another change in the top three this week, with no faction seemingly able to claim the second or third most popular spot for themselves. It takes our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy Phyllis Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking the video, it really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week, the second most popular faction, Chaos Demons, topped the win rates with an impressive win rate of 56.4%. The Leaves of Votan do well this week with a win rate of 55.2%. The Harlequins come next with a win rate of 53.4%, but there were only 15 players. The Eldari get a win rate of 52.5%, followed by Chaos Knights on 52.4%, and the World Eaters on 52.3%. Custodies get a win rate of 52%, followed by the two Chaos Mix players, who get a win rate of 50%. A special mention to the Tyranids, who had a significant rise in their win rate, getting 48.7% compared to their win rate of 40.8% last week. The third most popular faction, Tau, get a win rate of 47.4%, with the most popular faction, Space Marines, getting a win rate of 45.5%, which is a significant decrease for them. Last week, we saw that Grey Knights and Sisters were struggling at the bottom, and I predicted that they just had a bad week. The Grey Knights have moved back into the Goldilocks zone on 45.6%, which is much closer to their usual win rate. The sisters, however, are still in red, with a win rate of 39.8%. Perhaps their drop-in win rate was not just a bad week after all. Predictably, the Thousand Sons are back at the bottom, with a win rate of 38.7%. Chaos Demons remain at the top, with a win rate of 55.2%. They pull further ahead from the Gene Sealer Cults, who have a win rate of 53.9%. The World Eaters are in third, with a win rate of 53.4%. After a good week, the Leaves of Votan move into 4th, with a win rate of 52.8%. The Inari are in 5th, with a win rate of 52.7%, followed by the second most popular faction, Ashton Militarum, who have a win rate of 52.4%. The Orcs come next, with 52%, followed by the third most popular faction, Custodes, who get a win rate of 51.8%. After a good week, the Aldari move into green, with a win rate of 50%. The most popular faction, Space Marines, are on a win rate of 49.1%, even though they had a significantly worse week as an overall faction. There are two chapters with only a single player, but as they were only one, this week the Imperial Fists topped the win rates with 61.5%. They may have only had four players, however I just had to call this one out, given their usual win rate below 30%. The second most popular chapter, the Space Wolves, topped the green group with many more players and a win rate of 56.7%, a very good week for them. The most popular chapter, the Iron Hands, are still performing well, with a win rate of 52.6%. Fearless's favourite blue boys, the Ultramarines, have a win rate of 42.4%. The third most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, get a win rate of 41.6%, a very significant drop for them. It looks like they have been well and truly nerfed by the changes in the last data slate. Perhaps changing the Inner Circle rule to a 3+, plus to wound rather than a 4+, plus would have balanced the faction slightly better. The Salamanders get a win rate of 41.1%, followed by the Black Templars with a win rate of 41%. The Blood Angels top the red group with a win rate of 37%, followed by the Death Watch, who get a win rate of 36.7%. Compared to their win rate of 54.5% last week, this is a very significant drop. They do only have 8 players, so perhaps this low player base is causing the big swings in the win rates. The second most popular chapter, the Iron Hands, topped the win rates with 55.8%. They have dethroned the most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, who are just behind with a win rate of 55.5%. Given their recent form, they may well drop even further down the rankings before 10. They are followed by the third most popular chapter, the Space Wolves, with a win rate of 
there are a further four chapters with over 200 players, with the Black Templars getting a win rate of 46%. The Salamanders get a win rate of 45.3%, followed by the Ultramarines on a win rate of 42.6%. They have swapped places with the Blood Angels again, who are now on a win rate of 42.4%. Which one do you think will finish higher? My favourite, the Blood Angels, or Phyllis's favourite, the Ultramarines? Let us know in the comments. This week, only one of the known legions have more than 10 players, so we will go straight into Arc so far. The most popular, the Black Legion, topped the win rates with 42.8%. They are followed by the 77 Alpha Legion players, on a win rate of 39.4%. The 82 Iron Warriors players are next, with a win rate of 38.9%, followed by the second most popular legion, the Emperor's Children, on a win rate of 38.4%. The 28 Red Corsairs players are on a win rate of 36.4%, with the 62 Night Lords players on a win rate of 35.2%. With the 10th edition Chaos Space Marine rules previewed, I personally think they are looking pretty good for 10th edition. I must say, they did not show us a huge amount of rules, so we'll have to wait and see how good they are when the free indexes drop. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.